So far, the protesters are making their voices heard, but they are doing it in a peaceful and very respectful way. The police are doing an excellent job in monitoring the situation and protecting everyone's rights, protesters and everyone else. And it is expected that we will continue to express through uh, peaceful protests, through dialogue and through working in a positive way to move the city of Cleveland forward. Uh, with that, I'd like to have the chief come up and give you some more specifics around uh, the different protests that have occurred uh, uh, throughout the city. Chief. Uh, just an update. Uh, as you know, this morning, uh, one of the first um, protests, uh, major protests, was at uh, Empit Park on the west side. Uh, that protest has ended. The individuals from there uh, have moved to another location uh, where they're joining with other uh, people throughout the, um, the uh, near west side. Uh, as the mayor stated, right now, uh, people are peacefully exercising their First Amendment rights and the Division of Police uh, is allowing them to do that and assisting them in doing that. Uh, we want to make sure that continues. Uh, we expect nothing less. Uh, we also want to make sure that um, our parents out there uh, are aware of where their children are or over this weekend and that they you know, keep them close uh, if possible. Uh, we don't want anybody uh, caught up in an unnecessary situation, uh, especially our kids. Uh, so if they can do that, uh, we definitely appreciate it. Uh, for the people out there that have um, experienced some of these uh, minor conveniences as far as traffic uh, by people um, exercising their First Amendment rights, um, we just ask you to bear with us. Uh, we're all definitely in this together, and people can be assured that uh, we're going to do everything humanly possible uh, to keep the city safe and to keep traffic moving. So just uh, bear with us for now. Um, also, uh, as I stated earlier, um, we are definitely going to monitor this for as long as it takes uh, and make sure that there is no violence or destruction within the city. Uh, the city will not tolerate any violence or destruction. And people need to understand that. And we need to work together to ensure that doesn't happen here in this city. We are trying to ensure that people exercise their First Amendment rights, but within the, uh, the bounds of, of the law and what's decent and necessary in the city. And, you know, people that commit violent acts, be it against property or persons, won't be tolerated. Our officers are prepared to step in and make sure that's uh, stopped as soon as it starts. And people should uh, know and understand that, you know, that doesn't move the needle, that doesn't get us anywhere. Um, violence only sets us back into what we really need to do in the city uh, to make things better. So that was our request and, and our expectation of people from the beginning is that we do this in a loud, boisterous, peaceful way and we hear you uh, and we've heard you uh, over the last six, eight months and even before that. And if people stay on that track, we can really get something done in the city because I'm committed to that. The mayor is committed to that. And believe it or not, uh, the majority of the men and women in the Cleveland Division of Police are committed to making this situation better and making our division better. 